right now we are preparing and starting the vote count um please just explain to us why it is important to observe this part of the elections as well uh well uh, i think where we are now is after nine o'clock half past nine to be exact um the whole country i believe has actually closed uh, all the voting uh, or the polling stations and where we are currently now we are in the process of going back in uh, to the voting stations and count um, you know the ballot papers um, this is another um, a process that really needs uh, people to be very, very vigilant in terms of uh, counting the ballot papers. Uh, I know the country is waiting. Uh, we will be counting uh, for you know, quite a number of hours to come. And once we are done with counting uh, you know, the ballot papers, looking at various political parties that have been voted by the people of South Africa, um, those uh, boxes will then be closed in front of all of us, observers, party agents, um, working together harmoniously, I hope, um, with uh, the IEC officers. And um, they will then be closed and, um, you know, uh, and be sent back with an escort, of course, escorted by SAPS. Um, back to um, the, um, uh, the, 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 the offices, uh, the IEC offices. And I know that the information will then be sent directly to the ROC, which is the National um, Results uh, Operations Center uh, tonight. There will obviously be delays that we are envisaging as counting and counting in different places uh, you know, take either shorter or longer, depending on the number of the, um, you know, vote, uh, voters' uh, uh, papers that are there. What I want to really urge as the chairperson of the Commission for Gender Equality is that we really urge all women and men of South Africa to be patient, um, to work together with us in terms of making sure that uh, there are no um, challenges uh, during this counting uh, uh, period, but also when the uh, ballot papers and the boxes are transported, uh, we are hoping that we will all work together as a disciplined nation just to make sure that the papers reach their destination without any form of um, you know, interruptions and or any form uh, of them being corrupted one way or the other. So, and from here, I think from tomorrow morning, we will actually be allowing the Results Operation Center uh, to capture as much information, starting from tonight, as much information as they can, so that uh, in the next two to three days, up until the fourth, we are able to get to the final results uh, of this process that I think all of the South Africans are looking forward uh, to actually getting the results and making sure that uh, we have uh, the leaders, but also we have the municipalities that are able to deliver on the basic services uh, that are due to the citizens of this country. Thank you. Um, so just briefly going back to the proceedings of the day, overall, um, what was your observation and um, what are your thoughts on um, how the proceedings were, went, uh, particularly in terms of um, our mandate as the CGE? Uh, yes, obviously, um, as the Commission for Gender Equality, our mandate basically is to promote, um, uh, protect, but also ensure attainment of gender equality in the country. Uh, this is why we have gone all out uh, to actually make sure that even during this period of elections, um, you know, those uh, gender equality rights uh, are achieved um, and there are no issues or any impediments that are actually obstructing people from exercising their rights and or there are no impediments that are beginning to um, look at uh, people that uh, will be discriminated on the basis of gender. So I think from where we are currently and what we have observed today, was that we really observed um, equal uh, participation of women and men, young men, young women in the process. However, I must also stress that it was concerning for us to actually um, um, you know, observe that 
um, you know, in terms of voter turnout, not too many people came out uh, to the uh, voting stations. Uh, but also, equally, I think we are quite concerned by, by young people who did not come out in numbers. And I think we need to go back to the drawing board and look at what happened, what would be the reasons for young people not to participate in these important local government elections. And this must actually um, really tell us um, a way forward in terms of making sure that uh, we are able to educate uh, our young people on the importance of uh, voting, but also in, on the importance of participating in the elections. And we know that um, they could be disgruntled by the fact that, you know, a bigger employment, uh, unemployment uh, is still registered uh, for, you know, under young people. And we know that young people themselves don't see themselves and, do, and they don't think, you know, their voice is heard, um, you know, when we are taking on, when decisions are made. So we really want to begin to, um, you know, invest on voter education uh, so that young people can go into numbers and register for uh, voting in the next uh, upcoming 2024 uh, elections in South Africa. So these are some of the things that we have picked up, but also with IEC, um, I think we have picked up quite a number of um, logistical nightmares that were there in some places. And I think the whole issue of the new technology that IEC is currently using, the machine that replaces the zip zip has actually caused delays in many areas. And I think this is where we actually need to make sure that um, the officials are capacitated to use the machines, but also we need to make sure that um, in future we are able um, to um, meet these challenges and, 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 and build a very strong uh, IEC official that are sent out there to actually monitor and conduct these elections uh, come 2024. Thank you. Thank you very much.